praise and the honor that you so rightfully and richly deserve. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, I'm going to ask if you can please remain standing for our statement of faith. Followed by our statement of faith will be our morning hymn in that order. Amen. We're all reading together in unison. We believe in the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible written word of God. We believe there is one God, eternally existent in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the Church of God, which is in Christ at his return. We believe that the only means of being cleansed from sin is through repentance, faith in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We believe that the regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We believe that the redemptive work of Christ on the cross provides healing for the human body in answering to believing prayer. We believe that the baptism of the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for it. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. him a praise.
rejoice, hallelujah. Can we open up our mouths and begin to rejoice with the fruit of the lips? Can we bless him? Can we magnify him, hallelujah? Can we extol him on this morning, hallelujah? Anybody grateful to be in the presence, hallelujah, the Lord again? Anybody grateful to be back into the house of worship again, hallelujah? Hallelujah, I come here declaring on this great and mighty day that God has made, hallelujah, I stand here declaring that someone shall be healed, set free and delivered, hallelujah. By the time that you leave this place, you will not leave here the same way that you came, hallelujah. Come on, somebody ought to open up your mouth in this place on this morning and bless ye the Lord, hallelujah. We came to magnify him, we came to lift him, hallelujah, and give him all of the glory. But there is no God like our God, hallelujah. Put your hands together if you love him on this morning. Hallelujah, for those of you that are joining us on this morning, hallelujah, those that are online on this morning, hallelujah, we say good morning, we say good afternoon to you, hallelujah, welcome to the New Grace Tabernacle Christian Center, hallelujah, we're here, hallelujah, to serve, hallelujah, and lift up one God, hallelujah, so we welcome you to join us in worship on this morning, hallelujah, a few of those that are coming at this time, praise and worship team is in order, hallelujah, we ask that everyone would join in, this is a corporate endeavor so we ask that everyone get in hallelujah in the worship on this morning as we come to lift up our father the song says bless thou the lord oh my soul oh my soul hallelujah bless thou the lord bless his holy name thank you jesus hallelujah yes lord hallelujah thank you jesus yes god we magnify you we lift up your name on this morning, hallelujah, and we bless thou the Lord, oh my soul, hallelujah, we bless your name, yes God, hallelujah. Bless thou.
want to pour out my praise unto him hallelujah anybody come to pour out your praise unto the lord on this morning come on put your hands together like this all over the room if you're viewing online wherever you are this morning come on and put your hands together and begin to pour out your praise upon the king
said, I just want to go.
way. Hallelujah. Come on, we're on a praise train. We're going we're gonna to shift in a moment. And we're going to go and enter into worship. Hallelujah. Glory. But the song says freedom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on, everybody. Clap, 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 clap. Sing a little louder. 
for no weapon form against me. Yes, Lord, will never overtake me. Defeated. Come- 
defeated. Come on. We shall never be defeated. Yes, Lord. We shall never be defeated. We shall never be defeated. Come on. Never be defeated. No, no. Never be defeated. No, no. Come on. We shall never be defeated. We shall never be defeated. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Come on, come on. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Come on. God is exalted. Come on. Never be defeated. No. Never be defeated. No. Come on. The devil. discouraging heart on this morning I don't know what you're going through I don't know what's weighing up on your heart I don't know what you're carrying hallelujah hallelujah but you have to know hallelujah that you will never be defeated hallelujah for some of us it feels like hallelujah that life has literally knocked the wind out of us hallelujah hallelujah living in these times and through this pandemic and through all the trying times hallelujah that we have encountered in the midst of it all hallelujah I don't know about some of you hallelujah but I had moments hallelujah of despair I've had moments where hallelujah I didn't feel hallelujah like I was going to make it hallelujah it just felt like I was just smothering it just felt as if life was just knocking the very wind out of my body but thanks be to God hallelujah who has reminded me that I shall never be defeated no matter what I may face I don't know who I'm speaking to on this morning but no matter what you've been going through I know it's been hard I know it's been painful hallelujah I know hallelujah at moments of times you just feel like throwing in the tower you felt like giving up you felt 
sound as if you weren't going to make it through it, but I come here to just, to just encourage somebody on today. Whether you're in the building physically or whether you're viewing with us online today, hallelujah. I just want to let you know that you're going to make it. You're going to make it, hallelujah. God wouldn't have brought you to this place if he didn't think that you were strong enough to survive it. He wouldn't have gotten you to where you are if he didn't feel as if you could make it out of what you're in. I don't know who I'm speaking to on today, but I speak to your spirit. I speak to your mind. I speak to that condition in the mighty name of Jesus. You're not going to die. You're not going to drown, but you're coming out. You're going to come out with your hands lifted. I know it hurts. 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 I know it feels like it's knocked the very wind out of your body. But you got to know that you have a God that is on your side. Hallelujah. And he would not allow you to see. That's why he said, the devil is a liar. That even in the midst, that's why we have to be mindful when we are uh, spitting these kind of lyrics out of our mouths when we're singing these kind of lyrics you have to know what you are saying hallelujah when he says the devil is a liar god is exalted i look at it that no matter what i'm in no matter what season i'm in no matter what place i may be in god is still worthy of exaltation god is still worthy of all glory despite of the discomfort of it despite of the pain despite of the confusion despite of the adversity despite of the chaos despite of the noise god is still worthy of it therefore we exalt him Hallelujah. When the enemy comes to torment our mind and he comes to torment our peace and he comes to rob us of that joy instantly. That's why we have to use our mouth and we have to say the devil is a liar. God is exalted. We shall never be dis never be defeated. That's what I call to command in your territory. Declaring and decreeing life over the situation, over the matter, over the issue. God be exalted. We shall never be defeated. Not when we have a living God on our side. The victory and the battle has already been won. Therefore, we all have the victory. No matter how hard it may get. Hallelujah. I'm sure as they were leading Jesus Christ to the cross, I'm sure in moments, there were moments, hallelujah, where it had to cross his mind. Hallelujah. Him feeling as if he could not do it. Him going through so much just leading to the cross. The despair, the pain, the beatings, hallelujah. Everything that they did to him. But guess what he did? He stood there and he endured it. He endured everything that they brought up on him. He didn't run away. He didn't turn his back. When he could have easily, so easily, he could have done so. He could have said, I can't do it, Father. I can't do it, Father. He could have called for the angels. But instead, he knew that he had you in mind. Therefore, he said he had to. I have to endure this for them. I have to endure so that they can live. We serve such an amazing God and he never ever ever not once did he ever promise us that living life on this side would be easy you're telling a lie if you say that 
He never promised us that this walk would be easy, that life would be easy. He never said that we would not go through anything. He never said that we were not going to lose loved ones. It's the most painful thing when one can fathom of losing someone near and dear to your heart. But he never promised that we would not have to go through these things of loss and hurt and trying times and difficult times. Hallelujah. It's all part of your process. You have to be able to endure so that you're able to help bring somebody out. The word of the Lord declares that we overcome by the word of our testimony. So even in the uncomfortable times, even in the moments of despair and discomfort, even in the moments, hallelujah, where you feel like you can't make it or you feel like you can literally breathe, hallelujah, you have to remember the word of God, hallelujah. He says that I would not put no more on you than you can bear. That means that he allows you to get to this place. That means there is purpose in it. It's not to punish you. It's not, hallelujah, to make you feel the way that you feel but he sees something greater on the inside of you and the only way hallelujah that you're going to be able to conquer the storm that you're in is if you wake up and realize that if he didn't think you could survive it <laughs> if he didn't think that you could survive it he would have never brought you to this place you're surviving the sickness because there's purpose. I know it's hard to see it that way. Hallelujah. But even in your place, even when in the midst of the infirmity, even in the midst of what you're feeling like, even in the midst of the struggle, you got to know that there is purpose behind it. And I don't see you. I don't see your physical condition hallelujah but I see you hallelujah I see what faith lens I know what you're dealing with conditionally but I see a miracle I know what the doctors have said but I see otherwise and there is purpose there's purpose out of everything that we go through. It's just not we're just so just going through life and we're just going through and we feel as if, why God, every time I look around, it's always something I can't catch a break. Every time I look around, there's something going on with my children. Every time I look around, there's something going on the outside of my family. There's something going on on the job. Every time I look around, the enemy is coming to torment my mind. He's trying to confuse my thoughts. He's trying to come up against everything that's attached to me. Thinking not strange, people of God. You're pregnant with purpose. And nothing is going to come easy, especially for those that are called. Sometimes he'll remove things out of the way. And sometimes it can be the very thing that it, we're so attached to. But sometimes there's a season for everything. And sometimes he have to move that out of your way. Hallelujah. So that you can rise. So that you can rise. He's not punishing you. But it's for you to go forth in him. Everybody in this room and every one of you that are viewing online, you have to know that your life has purpose. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what's been spoken over your life. The buck stops with you. In every word that's been spoken over your life, 
every word of doom, whatever's been spoken over your life today is reversed. Every curse is reversed. In the mighty name of Jesus, the curse is broken. Generational curses stops with you. It will not come nigh your seed. It ends with you. There's purpose in you. Minister to someone through the pain. The more you minister, the more you reach out to others, the more you testify, the more you, you, you use and you tell people, you, we don't know, it's not for ourselves. But the more we continue to fight on and we continue to encourage others, that's where our strength, we're going to get our strength. The more, every single time, hallelujah, we're going to draw strength, hallelujah, because what the word says, we overcome by the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. We never know who we might be put in place to have to minister to. Today it might be you. Tomorrow it may be someone else. Hallelujah. And we're here to help pull them out of where they are. Hallelujah. So that they can get to where we are and we all can rise together. Amen. Come on, believers. Come on. Come on. If you're encouraged on this morning, come on. You ought to act like it. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. We're going to make it, people of God. We're going to make it. We are survivors already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are going to make it. We have a greater power on our side. Hallelujah. We have a greater authority on our side. Hallelujah. And we don't have to worry about a thing. We just have to trust his will and allow him to lead us through it all. Lead us through the pain. Lead us through the chaos. Lead us through the confusion. Lead us through the loss. Lead us through everything that we may encounter. And he'll do just that. Come on, can we rise all over the sanctuary? The spirit of the Lord is in this place. The spirit of the Lord is in this place. And you're going to make it. God is already conditioning your heart. He's already healing you. Hallelujah. Never feel as if he's not near because he is. Never feel as if he's abandoned you because he hasn't. He's with you. And you're going to make it. Oh, Father, we thank you on today. We magnify you on today. We thank you, Father God, that we can come before you. And we can bow under your authority, Father. We thank you, Father, that you welcome us with open arms. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh God, that we can come to you, Lord God, with our problems, with our issues, our concerns. Father God, and whatever it is that we may be dealing with, Father God, we thank you, Lord God. You said in your word, Father God, that your ears are open to the cries of the righteous. So we thank you, Lord God, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, that you hear us, God. Today, Father God, we yield under your authority, Father. And we simply say, Father God, have your way. Even in the midst of being uncomfortable, Father, we say, Lord, have your way. God, we trust your will for our lives, God. We trust your will for our families, God. We trust your will for our government, God. We trust your will for our churches, oh God. We trust your will for your people in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say, God, continue to have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We are committed vessels, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that you continue.
continue, Lord God, to bestow strength upon us on today. God, we say, Lord God, we love you. We say that we need you in order to survive, God. We need you in order, Father God, to survive this season that we in. Lord, we know, Father God, that it's dark, Father. We know that it's been painful. Lord God, I know in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, that many are going through so many things, oh God. Oh God, but we thank you on today, hallelujah. We give your name glory in all things in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, for you did not, Lord God, hallelujah, you did not come to inflict pain upon us. That's not who we serve. But we thank you for the conditioning today. We thank you for the journey. We thank you, Lord God, for hearing our cry. So, Father, we thank you on today in the mighty name of Jesus for resting upon your people in whatever capacity they may find themselves in today. Father God, have your way in their lives. Have your way in the circumstance. Have your way in the center of where they are on today in the mighty name of Jesus. And, Father, if you'll continue to do these things, God, we'll continue, Lord God. We'll continue to stay at your feet. We'll continue to bow before you. And we'll remain committed no matter what may come our way. So, Father, we just simply say thank you on today. We simply say thank you on today. We simply say thank you on today. We simply say thank you on today. We're not upset with you, God, but we simply say thank you on today. Hallelujah. We, we love you, God. We're not upset with you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we love you, God. We may not understand all the things that you do, Lord God, hallelujah, but we trust you, Lord God. We still trust you, Lord God. We trust your will. We trust your way, God, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you on today. We submit ourselves to you in the mighty name of Jesus, and we still say yes. Our answer will still be yes, hallelujah, still yes. To your will yes to your way god in the mighty name of jesus come on every believer slip your hands up right where you are and bless the name of the lord hallelujah bless the name of the lord 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 hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah come on and bless him come on and magnify him Come on and give him glory today. Hallelujah. Come on. He wants to love upon you. Come on. He wants to meet you where you are. Hallelujah. Come on. He already knows where you are. He already knows. Hallelujah. What's resting upon your hearts and your minds today. Hallelujah. All you got to do. Hallelujah. Is just find yourself in his presence. Hallelujah. Because in his presence there is liberty. There is safety. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, and for that we give him praise, and for that we give him glory, for that we magnify him in this room on today. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody honor his presence. Somebody truly honor his presence. Come on, can we reverence him? Can we welcome him? Come on, come on, somebody. Can we lift him up on today? Can we give him what's due? Hallelujah. Can we just tell him that we love him? Hallelujah. Can we tell him that we need him on today? Hallelujah. Tell him how much he means to you. Hallelujah. And we thank you. 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 We thank you for sitting up on the throne. We thank you for staying on the cross. We thank you for hearing, oh God, our petitions. We thank you for being with us even in the toughest of times, Lord. We thank you for never walking away, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for never, Lord God. Hallelujah. Throwing in the towel on us. But we thank you for being patient with us, oh God. Thank you for being patient with us, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a beautiful spirit in here. Hallelujah open up and allow God to enter in right where you are come on somebody come on come on open up and allow him to have his way right where you are hallelujah if you can just lay everything come on lay every weight lay every weight at his feet on today hallelujah and tap into the presence of his name tap into the presence oh hallelujah
hallelujah, of his love today, hallelujah. He wants to love you. He wants to love on you. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. Come on, he wants to free you. Hallelujah, he wants to bless you. Come on, come on and bless him all over the room, wherever you are today. Come on and give him glory. We thank him for being an amazing God. And the presence of the Lord is in this place. The presence of God is in this place. Now that he has your attention, use this opportunity to worship him. Use this opportunity to bless him. Use this opportunity to speak to him. Use this opportunity right here to get what you need from him. He's already in the room. So whatever you need is already set up in the room. It's already set in the atmosphere. The atmosphere has already been set for your breakthrough, for your miracle, for whatever it is that you need. Hallelujah. So we thank him on today. We're here today because we want to feel his presence. We're here today, hallelujah, because we want to draw close to him you seek him you will find him you knock the door shall open on your behalf but you gotta open up your mouth use this opportunity to love on God this is your opportunity use it for whatever you need today whatever is up on your heart today let the Spirit of the Lord embrace you. Let the Spirit of the Lord embrace you. Let the Spirit of the Lord embrace you. You don't have to leave here the same way that you entered. But you can be delivered, you can be free, you can be healed, you can be encouraged. All just because by being in His presence, simply for just being in his presence. For this is all that he wants. This is why we're here. This is why we're here, church. This is why we're here. We're here, hallelujah, so that we can have a deeper connection with God. Hallelujah. Anybody want a deeper connection with God? Use this opportunity to connect with him. He wants to hear from you. Some of you, he hasn't heard from you in a very long time. But there's, here's your opportunity, hallelujah, to speak to him right from your heart. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for settling here. We thank you for sitting upon us, Lord. We thank you for your presence, God. We say, have your way. Not our agenda, but your agenda. We're not on our time, but we're on your time. And we want to take the time to love on you. Settle in our hearts, settle in our minds, settle our thoughts, settle our spirits. Settle us, Father, so that we may yield under your authority. In the mighty name of Jesus, we draw close to you, Father. We draw close to you, Father. We draw close to you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody lift your hands up where you are and just worship him. Just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Just worship him. 
Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. We just believe that it's already turning around for our good. For all things work together for the good of them that love you. God, we love you. Because we love you and because we know that all things are working together for our good. Hallelujah. We trust a purpose. We trust your purpose of our lives. We just take a moment of silence to just reflect on the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah. We believe that God has, hallelujah, moved in this place, hallelujah. So at this time, without further ado, hallelujah, our pastor is coming at this time to take us further in worship. Hallelujah. Please receive him, hallelujah, at this time as he comes. Pastor John David Wright. Come on, let's clap our hands and give God a praise. He's worthy. Come on, he's worthy of the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Just lift your hands and just, how, just shout hallelujah, hallelujah. We know that hallelujah is the highest praise. Amen. We're getting ready to move on. The hour is far spent. So there's some things that's going to be cut out. You may be seated if you can. Amen. Amen. The presence of the Lord is yet in this place. Amen. Wave at me if you can feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. I feel Jesus moving all in the room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, real quick, we want to receive our tithe and offering. Some of us that already do it online, you were probably doing it, did it yesterday or did it the day before, but we want you to do that. That's how the ch church sustains itself. If you can look around and don't get worried about what you see. How many of y'all see the construction going on, see the bricks and all of these things? That's, I told y'all it gets ugly before it gets better. Amen. We are in an ugly process, but it's, it's, it's getting there. Amen. Amen. What the devil tried to stop, God said, move on out the way. So we, we need your support. So we want all of our tithes to make your way into the center aisle. If you need an envelope, slip your hand up and our ushers will service you with that. If you're online, you already know what to do. You can sow your seed. You can give your tithe. All of the grace members that are online, you can sow your seed and give your tithe. The tithe, it should be on the screen. Amen. No, stay there, Sister Fisher. This is what I do. Clay, put the tithe thing on the screen. There you go. Look at that. See how that works? You about to run all the way back there. Save yourself some energy. Amen. Tithing is right. That's how the church sustains itself. Amen. And the Bible says, do what? Bring all the what? Tithe into the storehouse. And he promises to bless you beyond measure. Our tithing online is dollar sign New Grace Tab. Not New Grace Tabernacle, but New Grace Tab. Amen. And our Zell is Pastor Dave 14 at gmail.com. You can do that. You can also go on our website. Go ahead, Sister White, whatever you got to go fix over there. Amen. You can also do that on our website, www.gracetabernacle.info. I see some folks fanning. Everybody all right? Is it a little hot in here? Y'all sure? <laughs> well, maybe y'all, I'm a little warm myself. See, when you're moving around, you get, you get warm. You, 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 amen. If you want to stay warm, give God praise. Folks that stay cold, they ain't moved in service yet. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, all our tithers are coming. We thank you for our tithers that are tithing online. If you already tithed online or this isn't your tithing pay, we, we want you to stand as well so we can acknowledge you as a faithful supporter of the ministry. Don't worry. We, we're supposed to get out at 1.30. We're going to get out as close to 1.30 as we can. Amen. Because it's, it's not safe to keep you in mass for hours. You're not talking back to me. Amen. Because some, some of us have different breathing conditions and it's not safe, you, you, you know, staying on my mask. As soon as I get in my car, I throw my mask off. Amen. Some of y'all don't wait till then. As soon as you get out the door, you throw your mask off. Amen. No, well, when I get in my car and I get in my house, I throw the mask as far as I can get it. Amen. Some folks wear the mask in their house. I don't know who you live with that you got to do that. Amen. 
Come on, hold your seed, your tithe up in your right hand. The right hand is the hand of blessings. God, we thank you for our jobs. We thank you for our increase. We thank you for all that you blessed us with so far. But we're so excited about what you're getting ready to do in our lives and what you're getting ready to do in our finances. Bless our 10% that we're giving to the kingdom, but stretch the 90% that's still in our bank account. Let every bill be paid and every need be met. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout, here I go. Trust in God again. Come on, bring your tithes and say, I'm blessed. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. He is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy. Worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Worthy. Worthy. For he is good. He is good. Clap your hands and give God a praise. Amen. I'm going to say it again for the folks that couldn't hear me. Clap your hands and give God a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you give God praise, you ought to praise him like it's your last time. Amen. Amen. We, we're moving. Just a couple of announcements. We're praying for Sister Wanda and, and her family. I can't remember the young man's name. Her son's father passed away. I believe it was last week. And he'll be funeralized in a week or two. And we're going to be praying for Sister Wanda over there. Amen. Let's keep her in our prayers. Amen. It's always something to pray for. Always. And um, we thank God for First Lady Wright letting the Lord use her in a mighty way. Amen. We have any choir members here? Any? And this is what we're going to be doing. Um, we've been in our pandemic for almost come in a couple of weeks. It'll be a year, I believe. And we're getting ready to go back to having the choir sing. But this is what I want to do. If you don't feel like singing, this is not the time to make you sing. We only going to have folks singing that have a fire to sing. Amen. This ain't the time to beg nobody to do ministry. Walking, ah, no, sit, stay home or sit down. Those that have a fire to do ministry are in here. You know, if you ain't got a fire for it, we ain't got to push you to, no, no. Amen. It's too dangerous to make somebody do something. Lord, help me in here. Amen. So what, I'm, what we're going to be doing, we are having our choir anniversary. Choir day, March the 14th. I set that up real nice for the screen. Amen. Our choir, our choir anniversary will be March the 14th, and we really can't rehearse like we used to rehearse until we will not be singing a new song. But those of you that have a fire for singing, uh, you'll be singing in your house rehearsing. Amen. Hallelujah. And, I, and, I, and we don't need a bunch of folks. We just need a few folks. And we have these uh, safety mechanisms for our microphones. And everybody will be safe. I'm going to be rearranging the pulpit. There's the choir anniversary flyer right there. I'm going to be rearranging the pulpit to make it conducive for the choir to sing. And we're going to give God the glory. Amen. Some people are really missing singing because sometimes you can sing yourself out of depression. Amen. And there, there are some folks, when they came to Christ, it wasn't the sermon that snatched them in. It was a song. Y'all don't want to talk back to Pastor Wright. It was a song that snatched them in and got them to the altar, and it was the word that saved them. Amen? So we, we must not throw away that part of ministry. Amen. And, and, I, and I know I'm, I'm going to give you a, a word today, but sometimes you don't need a full sermon. Amen? When Saul was dealing with depression, all he needed was somebody with a harp. Lord, help me. And sometimes you need a harp in your life. And what, well, Pastor, what you talking about? Well, when he was depressed, they called for David to come and play spirits out of him. So when you play under the anointing, I wish I could preach that right now. 
when you pray un and you, when you play under the anointing spirits lead people amen everything ain't on the laying of hands sometimes music has to go and sweep an atmosphere amen that's why sometimes some things you shouldn't listen to because it puts you in a mood to do things that you really don't want to do. Hallelujah. But when you have an anointed minstrel that is playing the hymns of God, the hymns of the church, things start to fall off of you. When you have an anointed Levite and the, and, and the people begin to sing songs of the Lord, and, and if you go to heaven right now, you hear angels singing holy, holy, holy all over the place. And sometimes that stuff, when, when you see people, you, you know, ain't nobody preaching. All it is is praise and worship and tears are flowing down their face. Something is moving them. Amen. And I, but, but, but I'm not going to stay there, you know, because you have to be a Levite to understand that. You have to be a Levite to understand that. All the Levites say, I got you, Pastor. Amen. That's why uh, uh, sometimes in your car, on your way to church, you shouldn't be listening to hip hop and uh, 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 what's them all these other folks, um, the, uh, the rock and roll, R and B's, B and R, whatever. You ought to be getting yourself in a mode to worship. You should have worship music in your car and not just playing it, but listening to it. Because there's a difference between hearing something and listening to something. So when there's worship already in you, when you get here, you connect already with what's going on in the atmosphere. But when worship ain't in you on your way here, we got to defunction you to function you. Right? That's not my sermon today. <laughs> but um, the hour is far spent. We're getting ready to go. Let me do this. Um, everybody stand. I want to give you this word of God. Thank you, Deacon Brown. Bless you. Amen. Praying for you, Deacon McLean. God bless you. I see you back there. We're also glad to, uh, to let you know that Deacon Larry Ned is home. He's home. He might be watching us right now. Well, I know Marlo watching us, so if, if, he, if she watching, he ain't far from her. Amen. It's something about a sick man. He'll cling to that wife. Y'all men ain't going to say nothing. I know well, me, when I'm sick, I'm like a baby. Say what you want. <laughs> Amen. My mother used to have a bell for me. And when I would need something, I'd bring it. And, but my wife won't let me get a bell. No bells? No bells. <laughs> but very quickly, Father God, word my mouth and guide my mind just for this moment as I deliver this very short message, God. I pray right now that you give me strength in the name of Jesus that everything that be, that's said gives you glory. In Jesus' name, everybody say, thank God, amen. Very quickly, I'm going right to the word of God. I want you to do this. Go to the book of Zephaniah. And uh, I, I have a full sermon on this, but I'm just going to give you the sermon that portion. The book of Zephaniah. chapter 3 verses 15 through 17 and this is the New Living Translation Amen and um, Zephaniah is one of the minor prophets Amen but he's a powerful one the word of the Lord reads as thus for the Lord will remove his hand of judgment and will disperse the armies of your enemy and the Lord himself, the King of Israel. You'll read them four words that say up there. We'll what? Just want to make sure you're with me. We'll live among you. Can we read this together? At last, your troubles will be over. 
and you will never again fear disaster. Watch this. Read this, y'all. On that day, the announcement to Jerusalem will be, cheer up, Zion. I'm going to stop there. Do we know who Zion is? We are Zion. The church is Zion. And, and, and this is, this is y'all got to pay attention because you're thinking I'm going to preach. No, hold on. Watch this. The church has been in so much turmoil, you. And, and the church has been depressed. Listen, the church has been depressed. I spoke to somebody yesterday. I said they're going to have to put the whole earth on the couch after all this is over because we're going to need somebody to talk to. So God says on the day the announcement to Jerusalem will be what? Cheer up, Zion. Look at your neighbor and say, cheer up. Don't be afraid. Verse 17, and we out of here. For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. Anybody been scared? <laughs> Don't be, I, I know the Lord didn't give me a spirit of fear. No, we've been scared. Nervous, tense. That's why we at each other so bad. Because scared people go on the attack. He will rejoice over you with joyful what? Songs. And the word of the Lord is blessed. I just wanted to talk about this little top topic. God is right in the middle of it. God is right in the middle of it. And that's it. God bless you. Amen. No, we, we, I told y'all we're going to get out at 1.30 and I'm already late. All right? Amen. Be seated if you can. No, I can't. I can't. I want to. But, but y'all been, been in these masks for over two hours, some of y'all. Some of y'all been here since 10 a.m. Who been here since 10 you know, amen. So we got to be considerate of the time. I'm a pastor that does, you heard me preach before. I don't have to get my word across. Amen. So I'm considerate of the people. I, I think about the people more than I think about myself. Amen. So we, if, if you need special prayer, um, well, no, I'm not even going to do that because if you didn't get what you needed from God when all that was going on, <laughs> this little hand ain't going to do nothing for you. <laughs> amen. Amen. Listen, we want to be a blessing. We want to receive our offering, our after offering before we leave. Everybody get a $20 seed in your hand. Amen. The word of the Lord is blessed. And that's it. Hallelujah. Cheer up, Zion. Everybody get a $20 seed in your hand, and we want to bring the seed to the Lord. Amen. And God says he loved the what kind of giver? Tell me. A cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. You have to give with gladness. Anybody know that when you give with glad gladness, God will give gladly to you? <laughs> Amen. Ain't that right, Elder McCray? He loved the cheerful giver. Not the careful giver, but the cheerful giver. Not the aggravated giver, but the cheerful giver. Not the cautious giver, but the cheerful giver. Amen. We will be getting our oil valves real soon for the disbursement so we can everybody can have their prayer oil to go home. Everything has been on back order everywhere. And um, especially even our Sunday school books because our Sunday school books come from Memphis, Tennessee and they got that little bit of snow and they shut the whole state down. Ain't there something people can't function with what you function in easily? Amen. We just make it look easy. Amen. Come on, everybody, get your, if you don't have a $20 seat, I want you to get your best seat and make your way into the center aisle. And we want to be a blessing. Amen. Somebody say, God is right in the middle of it. We always talk about him being the alpha and the omega. 
the beginning and the end. And sometimes we, we hold out and just give him praise at the end and wait to the end. But we going to know, you got to know he's right in the middle of it. That's why he said, I will live among you. Ain't nothing you going through that God ain't right in the middle of it. Don't do that, Sister White. He's right in the middle of it. He's smack dab. And if he ain't, somebody, anybody want God to get in your business? God, get all in the middle of my stuff. Get right in the middle of it. Y'all get six feet apart now. Amen. Somebody up on you too tight, some back up. Yeah, yeah. No. no, don't do that. Amen. I want God to be right in the middle of it with me. Because and, and I, I looked at that lady, G. Folks always focus on him being the Alpha and Omega. And he is that. But what if we don't really need help at the end? Because that's the victory. <laughs> We need help in the middle of this thing. Because I know he's at the end because he said it and he's at the beginning because he's there. But I, in the middle, it don't feel like I can see him. God, I feel like preaching it anyway, but I, I, we, we've been in the mass. We, we, we got to get out of here. It's time. We got to get out of here. You know, but he's right there in the middle of it. And sometimes I need to know right in the middle of my storm, God, I ain't got to wait for him to come. The Bible says he's a very present help. Yeah. Cheer up, Zion. Cheer up, church. I wish I can get you to hug somebody, but just wave at them. Give them an air hug and tell them, cheer up. Uh, hold that seed up in your right hand. God, we thank you for the seeds we're sowing. We know we're sowing it in good ground, and we expect the great harvest to come our way. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout, here I go. Trust in God again. Come on, bring your seed and say, I'm blessed. I want to hear you say it. I'm blessed. Come on, you got to say it out of your mouth. I'm blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Even with a New York Giant shirt on, I'm blessed. I am blessed. Yes, Lord. I am blessed. Cheer up. I promise if you come back next week, I'll finish that sermon. I promise, Mama P, if you come back next week, first Sunday. Bless you, Sister Lisa. I promise if you come back, I'm going to finish that sermon. I, I speak against the depression of the church. The whole church, I mean, from the pastors to the members, it, it, it's, it's like it's, it's been a, it's rough. And if we digest that word, God's judgment is only for a moment. I feel like this thing that we're under is getting ready to be lifted. I feel like there's going to be, and I can't, I can't say that Dr. Fauci told me this, but I just got a feeling that whatever this is in this atmosphere, there's a wind coming. Woo. See, we're putting our trust in these doctors and these vaccinations and all this stuff, and we thank God for that. But God is going to do something. Good God Almighty, God is up to something, and he's right in the middle of this thing, right in the middle of it. Somebody say this, there will be life after COVID-19. Come on, let's stand and be dismissed. Lady G, I want you to do the benediction. Amen. Clap your hands for Lady G as she comes. All minds and hearts are clear. 
Father, we thank you, Lord God, for all that's been said and done in this place on today. We thank you for your visitation, God. We thank you, Father, for moving through this place on today. We thank you for those, oh God, every life that's been touched, oh God. Every, Lord God, listening ear, Father God, that has heard a word of encouragement today, God. Lord God, I thank you today, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, for touching, for freeing, for delivering, for comforting, oh God, and just for simply having your way. Now, Father, as we prepare to depart from this place, God, Father, we ask now, Lord God, for your traveling grace and mercy, God. Lord, be with us in our travelings, O oh God. Father, we pray now in the mighty name of Jesus that by the time we return back to our separate destinations, O oh God, that all will be well. So, Father, we just thank you, Lord God, and we pray now, Lord God, that your hands will continue to be upon us until we all meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go with God.